there's a few updates that I have that is going on both on my YouTube channel and in real life. There's a few things I need to get off my chest. First thing is I that I know that Jenny McDermott has made a video apologizing to Thunderfoot. And while it seems sincere, it doesn't really change the fact that Jenny is still unlikable. All she does is make assertions, and that's about it. Same thing could be said about Bewilder Ape. Now, some of you might think and accuse me for being a heartless monster when I don't give sympathy to certain people. There was this once, this one girl who was triggered by everything, and I made a conclusion that the only way she will ever escape from being triggered is if she just ended her own life, because let's be honest with ourselves. No human in the world will be this triggered. It is nearly impossible to not trigger this woman. I have no sympathy for people who are completely unlikable. This is how sympathy work. If you don't like this person, how can you be sympathetic? If his or her personality pretty much sucks the fun out of everything, or just really annoys you, how can you feel sympathy when something bad happens to them? I'm not going to say that he or she deserves it, but I'm saying I should not care. It doesn't mean that I'm in favor of rape, murder, or theft. But there are things that people do that makes it hard to sympathize with. If they ended their own life, I'm not going to cry over it. At most, I will say, sorry for your loss, but I gotta get going. And let's face the facts that Anita Sarkeesian wasn't very sympathetic towards Richard Dawkins' death. And the fact that you guys are aiming for me is quite hypocritical. If it's okay for Anita to be hateful towards someone's death, why should I care about someone that I don't like ending their life? Or someone bad happens to them? Another thing is that there's going to be a YouTube video that's going to be uploaded on the Oz channel. The reason why I'm doing this is because I feel like people like myself should be able to collaborate with other YouTubers. In that sense, I will be promoting Oz at the same time Oz will be promoting me. His viewers will see my content and will make the decision on whether or not it is worthy to subscribe to my channel. If more people promoted each other, then we would have a network where smaller YouTubers can come in and promote themselves, if their content is good enough. I will link in the description to the Oz channel so you can check them out. I will try to collaborate with channels that are bigger than myself, because I want people to like what I'm doing. Now, there is a few videos that I'm also going to work on. First, it will be a video based on Josh Fernstein. Everyone in the atheist community knows him by now, and I made two videos on him. Another thing is, there, there is, um, I'm making a, the third episode of, of Unnecessary Questions. I want people to ask me questions, and, like, before, I will only answer five questions for now, until my channel becomes bigger. That's the limit. Five questions. I also want to talk about the upcoming election, which I will make, you know, I'll, I'll make it short. I am aware that one of our runners is Hillary Clinton, and I have to ask, whose dick is bigger? Hers or Bill Clinton. And I do wonder if she's willing to eat a poopsicle. I'm being very serious right now. <laughs> I'm also heard that Rick Perry is going to try to run for president again. And if you remember his old ad back in 2012, his ad was one of the most hated videos of all time. And I made a video way back a long time ago about Rick Perry. It was one of the most controversial videos of all time. And it's still on YouTube. You can, you know, look in the video yourself. Uh, and I see what Rick Perry has said in his campaign. He believes that the government has lost its connection to God, and he is there to fix that. I doubt that Rick Perry is going to be any better than Hillary. And I don't like Hillary Clinton, not because she's a woman. It has nothing to do with her gender. Okay? So, quit accusing me for being a sexist. Ugh. It has everything to do with the fact, with, with her past. The things that she has said has made me quite skeptical that she's even capable of being a president. The same thing can be said about Rick Perry. I'm going to have to pick the lesser of two evils. So I'm voting for whoever's the least worst president. I am also going to see a few people. Just hang out with them. One of them is a nice lady I met at the library. She's very spiritual. It's kind of hard to explain, but try to imagine someone who's very spiritual or religious w w without the religion. She believes that Christianity and other religions is a cult. What a cult does is basically take away your freedom to think for yourself. Let someone, you know, let someone think for you. I'm looking at you feminists. 
you know, you, you feminists do this all the time with other people. She's a very nice person, and she's also a YouTuber. I will not reveal her yet, but sooner or later I will. Like before, I do plan to make a video with her. Um, you might think that she's a bit crazy, but she's very spiritual and, and very kind. She has no grudge against people who want to be themselves, like gays and transsexuals. I'm going to teach her a few tricks on how to render her videos faster, and then we might hang out later on. You know, play a few games as well. The person that I'm making a video response is in the description. If you know how to play the Atheist Gamer drinking game, then I would suggest you play it now. Have fun, ladies and gentlemen. I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace the game out.